Hi guys, I'm Jojo, Fairy of Christmas and love. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. Are you enjoying this holiday season? You should. We have to live in the now. Everything is now, remember? So don't waste any precious moment. It's not worth it. This week, the sun is in the beautiful lucky sign of Sagittarius. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Sagittarius. Please continue to bring us your luck. You were born a lucky sign to share your good luck with all of us. And remember everyone, we're all born to serve. That's the only place you'll be happy. Me and you and everybody. The moon will travel in the signs of Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. And remember now, Mercury, planet of communication, is retrograding, going backwards. It invites us to slow down, be patient, good. Remember, Santa's coming. We're going to be good, cautious, and play by the rules. And somehow, we are learning the greatest lesson of all this week. We will experience this individually, collectively, and also in the media and in the gov governmental affairs, in politics. What goes around always comes around because everything is energy. We will learn that this week. So anyone or any organization doing anything to hurt the environment, the animal kingdom, people will actually lose. Um, this is not a time to mess around with the law of karma because now it's all about the light converting the dark into more light and nobody it is irreversible invincible and it's ha happening as we speak and remember that the prime creator is absolutely very smart and it knows what it's doing and everything will happen and is happening for the better good of all Saturday Mars planet of energy and war in uneasy Libra, because it's the sign of peace, makes a hometown stop to passionate Scorpio, bringing excitement, sensuality, strong inner, complex emotions. It's very heavy duty. We all feel things intensely. A very good time to truly, truly forgive, forget, go on with your life, let it all go. Throw it in the ocean, in the lake, in the mountains, wherever you live. Just throw it away. What a loss of energy. It's time to move on. On Sunday, we have a fiery trine to Uranus, planet of change. Although both are going backwards, they do bring a sense of joy and hope in the air. Venus, planet of love, does make a second square to Neptune, planet of dreams, bringing a little bit of conflicts. It's like you could see an adjustment between the dark and the light, but the light is taking over slowly. So let's expect a little bit at the end of the day, some delays in love or financial situations. But if we do things by the rules, it will all work out just fine. It will take a little bit of effort and a little bit of discipline to get things done. The key to success is to truly be on the right side of humanity in our personal life and also in political affairs. On Monday, Moon is smiling at Neptune, planet of dreams, puts us in a very jolly good mood. Ho, ho, ho. Good day to count our blessings and really make amends, make things right. It's never too late to do the right thing. Remember? So today is the day. All is now, so do it. On Tuesday, the moon is making a very beautiful sweet sextile to the sun and the planet of love, Venus, making today happy and romantic. So the lovers will be very happy, married or single. So let's dance with life all the way. Enjoy the holiday season. Ho, ho, ho to the forest. Wednesday, happy Hanukkah to all our Jewish friends. We love you guys. And the moon in friendly Saturn relationship helps us also to be the best we can be and also to do things right. Somehow we, are, we have an inspiration to be good, to be in the light. Let's enjoy it and let's share our light with everybody around us. Love and light to you. I love you guys. Thursday, the moon is smiling at Neptune, planet of dreams, and Pluto, planet of politics and world affairs, bring a sense of justice and something 
reversals for the better in governmental and political affairs. You will see how there's a new wind of hope. There's many things going up and down, up and down, but at the end, it's pushing towards the good and justice for all. There's no way that dark will overrule the light. It's always the other way around. So keep your fingers crossed and just keep thinking positive and expecting the light in your life and in the world. Peace to you. Friday, the moon in optimistic Sagittarius sextile Uranus planet of change puts us in a very happy state of mind, inspiring us to give and to share and to serve and make other people happy. And let's remember, whatever we give or not give is always to our ourself. What goes around comes around. No one can fool the law of karma. I love you guys. Sagittarius, happy birthday to you. Bum bum, happy birthday. You are our little reindeer with a little red nose. That's what you are this year. Mars, planet of energy entering your spiritual sector, bring confidence, sex appeal, and a strong creativity. But you feel like taking it easy, why not? If you're traveling, it will be a lot of fun and also safe. In Mercury, you know what you want and you get it. Get ready also for a very happy family and social life until the end of the year. Love is definitely present wherever you go. You attract also new friends that could enrich your life greatly and we can follow your psychic feelings, not your mind. Your magical color, red lucky numbers 12 and 38. Capricorn. Mars entering your social sector make you very enthusiastic, very beautiful and sort of like a appealing, also witty and funny. You feel more confident and daring in career and in romance, a good time to rethink, redo your choices with whom and where do you want to be in the next few years, okay? So make the choices this week. It would be wise also to wait until the end of the month to make a final decisions because Mercury retrograde could fog your mind a little bit. So go slowly but surely, but reflect on everything and make choices. Family member may need your help. It's very important also to take your health, very take care of your health, okay? Eat good food and do your exercise. And in love and friendship, the more you give, the more you will receive, especially on the weekend. Ta-da! Your magical color white, like in numbers, 721. Aquarius, Mars entering your career sector brings you some kind of mind power, popularity, and breakthroughs. Are you thinking about your future? Take a deep breath and make a big wish. It will be granted. Let go of what does not work for you in your life and do be daring to make a fresh start in love, in career, wherever. If it doesn't work for you, bye-bye. In career, be very innovative. Your success is guaranteed. So whatever you touch will turn into gold. A good time also to take a good care of family business, the wills, insurance, all that stuff, the budget, and on the weekend, tender moments await. Your magical color, violet, like in numbers two and 13. Pisces, Mars entering your karmic sector, bring awareness, charm, and also charisma. In love, you know what you want and you get it. In career, co-workers applause your wisdom and somehow the powers that be show interest in the project dear to your heart. So be patient. Somehow your perseverance will be rewarded greatly. Are you planning to travel even with Mercury retrograde? Expect a few changes, but altogether it will be quite nice. In romance, magical moments await and on the weekend you receive gratitude and smiles everywhere you go. Lucky you. Your magical color orange, lucky numbers, 21, 36. Aries, Mars, your ruler entering your shared resources sector, bring you magic, healing, and a new powerful you. In career, the sunshine is back, and in love, you're more and more in charge of your destiny. You have all the tools and the new knowledge to really conquer all. It's up to you. Don't go back the old ways. Practice the new you, the new you. Follow your hunches in everything you do, no concessions, especially in love. Forgive, forget, let go, make a fresh start. On the weekend, passion is in the air. Express your wild side. Your magical color, fuchsia, like numbers one and 16. Taurus, Mars entering your relationship sector, make you wise, sexy, confident, and lucky. 
you also benefit from other people's good fortune and uh, you work well in a team with financial matters. You're very lucky in real estate and investments. Love life is definitely smooth sailing and satisfying and at work you're reinventing yourself and making real progress. Studies, charity, organization, getting involved in altruistic projects, very, very favored and lucky. And we're saying to you, thank you for being there because you're making a difference now. And the weekend joy is definitely in your heart. Your magical color green, lucky numbers, two and 34. Gemini, Mars entering your work sector brings innovative ideas and also the ability to make a fresh start and to do things for the better good of all. Mercury, your ruler, going backward actually pushes you to sort of uh, uh, reinvent yourself and sort of be the best you could be. It's a time to do that this week. At home, closeness with loved ones awaits in career. People admire your determination and perseverance. The focus on paying attention to the rules and uh, uh, really, really make a difference. You also attract breakthroughs and you all the adjustments you've been making in your life right now, especially in the career, will definitely bring you some results. In love, you have the ability also to let people uh, feel special. You have that gift to really make people feel happy. Thank you. On the weekend, the universe is talking to you, so please listen to all the synchronicities. Your magical color, lilac, lucky numbers 9 and 45. Cancer, Mars entering your creative sector brings beauty, charm, and entrepreneurship, and also vision. At home, your, your caring attitude makes family and friends very happy. In career, show business, publishing, beauty, projects, and the law. In politics too, it's all favored. Just make sure you get what you deserve. In love, you also could receive an offer you cannot refuse, so give it a chance or reconnect with a dear friend. That would be nice too. On the weekend, love rocks you gently. Woo! Your magical color, lavender, lucky numbers, five, 11. Leo, Mars entering your home sector, bring you wisdom, more peace of mind, and a new confidence. You're like reborn again. You have to admit the last few months were a little bit crazy, but now you're getting back into the light. Are you healthy? Are you fit in a good relationship? Do you love your career? It's a good time to be in, really in the best you could be to be in shape and to get back to be uh, the king and the queen that you are. Fight for your rights. Don't make concessions when it comes to finances. Don't give anything away. You want to be the best you could be at work in love for the coming year? Well, starts it starts this week. You know, take the lead of your life. Sit on your trunk, walk on your red carpet. Say yes and no to the right people, okay? And let go of the past. Also, it's very important to watch for serendipity moments this week. The universe is talking to you. In love, you're very popular and feel appreciated. And on the weekend, joy truly awaits. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers 10 and 22. Virgo, Mars entering your communication sector make you very loving, smart, and also strong. You have the ability to express yourself and you stand tall for what you believe in. I like that. Keep it up. In love, you're very popular, so take a chance. The focus is also on your goals and take care of business. A woman or a mother play a key role, and on the weekend, you receive love and gratitude. Your magical character requires lucky numbers, 6 and 33. Libra, Mars, entering your financial sector, bring you a renewed energy. You have your wings back. In career, you can catch up on important work and get the green light in a special project. It may be not the way you want, but you will actually say, hmm, turn out to be for the best. The law, publishing, studies, show business, travel, all favored. Pay attention to your dreams and spiritual values, your soul self this week. It's like the universe is connecting with you. On the weekend, you could have a revelation or a moment of uh, awe, enlightenment. Enjoy your magical color, blue, lucky numbers, 241. Scorpio. Mars, your ruler, entering your sign, bring you power, energy, luck, breakthroughs, awareness. In finances and career, trust your judgment and hunches because rewards and unexpected gains and success is definitely on your menu all week long. In love, you receive gratitude and admiration from many people around you. You feel also very good about your last month's accomplishments and continue to get a lot done. You're going to be very, that gives you so much energy to move mountains. Wow. 
Helping other people, definitely rewarding. And on the weekend, you'll see life in the bigger picture and you will feel totally invincible. It's like you were born out of the ashes back to become an eagle. Your magical color red, lucky numbers 8 and 22. Ta-da! And now here's your wizard affirmation for this quite uh, inspiring week. What happens when your heart is broken? Yeah, what happens when your heart is broken? Guess what? It grows bigger. That's why it happens. When your heart grows bigger, therefore, you attract people and mates and friends with bigger hearts. So accept it gracefully if it happens to you. It's all part of your heart going from a smaller heart to a bigger heart, bigger heart, bigger heart, until you find the perfect loving situation in love with family and friends. You see, life is perfect. So believe in love. You are love. See you next week. And you, please, if you like the show, please say like. Do you want to give me a present for Christmas? Press like or subscribe also to receive freely your horoscope every week or on the daily or monthly or whatever I do. And newsletters too. Love you guys. Happy holidays.